Welcome to the NBS Show, episode number 424. I am your host, Roman Sanzo. And, well, we have some, well, rather specific news this week. Um, uh, what we have here is three news, and most of them are on comic books. So, that's going to be very interesting. So, let's hop right into it. So, in this week's news, IDW teased Pony Life in new San Diego Comic Con at Home Image. So, written by Sephisto, IDW has popped, uh, popped uh, this image up over on their Twitter page as a teaser for the upcoming San Diego Comic Con's Home Focus event. They don't say anything at all specific about it, but they are showing off both Pony Life. Pony Life, yes, showing off both Pony Life. That's something weird to say. Anyway, uh, we just might get even more of the revamp for the comic side of the creative spectrum. We'll keep you informed. Sorry, we could be posted if any more news arrives as always. So, seeing this, and well, there's kind of an update to it, and the update is, well, San Diego Comic Con Pony Life cover reveal. Yay! So, what this is, is just a reprint. Um, Sophisto again. The San Diego Comic Con Pony Life uh, teaser has been fully revealed from IDW. Apparently, it's just a cover for issue number one reprint. Reprinted. While they, they still may do a series on the new show in the future, for now, it looks like this was just and uh, a shout out to it. Yes, apparently this is the eight reprint of issue number one. It's still amazing how long the series have been going. Yes, so <laughs> no Pony Life comic. So I don't know if that's a positive or a negative. But we do have what you call this. Um, how how do I put this? Yeah, it's it's still. Pony Comics, yes, uh, it's the first issue being reprinted, and this is the eighth issue. Sorry, this is the eighth time that this has been done. And uh, other than that, no, mission number one is fun. Uh, this is going to be one of those um, exclusive covers only available at their store, I'm guessing, because with the whole pandemic and go- <laughs> with the whole pandemic going on, there's no. Pony, sorry, there's no convention going. So this could be one of those uh, things where they sell it online after the press, after the convention or not. I don't know. Maybe you can buy it on their store during the convention scene or whatever. So other than that, let's move on to the final news. Oh wow, we're going really fast. So, My Little Pony Holiday Memories, new holiday comic coming in November. Yay! So, another pony holiday comic. This is fun. I think we got one last year. I don't remember the story. Yeah, I remember it. It was the one where Spike was with Rarity, but they didn't really do much. Yes. So, uh, so again, uh, IDW has revealed a new official holiday comic series start. Uh, stated for November this one continues the trend with G4 ponies to sorry G4 ponies as a focus so we are spared pony life at least until November for their end from their their end mm. so let's see uh, the description celebrate the holiday season with all of your favorite ponies in this collection of stories that focus on family friends tradition and all around joy spend time with apple <laughs> spend time with the apple family preparing for an array of t- tasty apple treats for all of ponyville spike and twilight telling stories as they're stuck in a snowstorm and rarity as she tries to go to the tree heartwarming with mm? Sorry, um, this is, is this from, is this really the description? 
coming soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not a mistake. Okay. Remember when I mentioned where Rarity and Spike goes to multiple parties and whatnot? Could they be rehashing this again? Because we got the, what you call this, uh, comics, like, I don't know, guys, like, could this just be another reprint? Because reading through and thinking about it again, um, okay, uh, they say that, uh, spend time with the Apple families preparing an array of tasty apple treats for Ponyville. Okay, that could be new. Uh, Spike and Twilight tell, uh, telling stories as they stuck in a snowstorm. That could be one of the previous ones. Remember way back when, when um, Twilight and Spike are stuck in a train station in Canterlot and their friends didn't want them to... Well, their friends just, from Ponyville, shoveled their way through all to... Um, to Cantalot from Ponyville to Cantalot and even forgetting Big Mac and also who was his name um, I'm forgetting Fluttershy's brother's name um, damn him yes and there's also a yeah I mean it seems very similar and with the rarity one that one was like last year where, like I mentioned before, Spike and Rarity spend time, they spend the holiday together, yet Rarity wants to go to three parties at once, and Spike just wants to hang out with Rarity, only asking them to be in Ponyville or Cantalot just to see the fireworks, something like that. I mean, this is very similar to that. Huh. I don't know. If, if this is just another reprint then I might not be getting this because I have all them. So, yeah. But the holiday memories does seem to line up with what the book is saying or what the book is trying to... Um, oh man, I'm bad with words. But yeah, um, it lines up with what they're trying to say or the message that they're trying to tell us. So yeah, um, I'm not sure. This is one of those cases where I'll have to wait and see because if this is just another reprint, then that will be a bit disappointing. But if it's just one new comic and two reprints, then just disappointing too. Let's just hope that the reuse the idea but they have seen <laughs> they use the idea but it's a different story yeah let's go with that like let's just hope it's that because a good idea is always good and who knows yeah, stuff so yeah um, that's the news for this week so let's move on to the next topic and next topic is what have I been doing with my week so there's a lot of things going on um there's a lot of things stacking. Um, let me try to remember things by chronological order. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, okay. Um, first things first. I played magic. So, yay, that's nothing new. Um, got to do a, well, Got to participate in an event and whatnot. It was all fun. It was a lot of fun. And before that, I recorded a new podcast. Um, I'll tell you all about it near the end. So after that, like, see, mm, I did the movies. Like last week was a movie, so um, Digimon, highly recommend. Go watch it. And yeah, the other thing is that I went and visited the dentist yesterday. Yes, it was. Mm, how do I put this? It was maybe some backstory is needed. I am afraid of the dentist. I do not like going to the dentist. Talking about it hurts. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but the thing is, my tooth is aching, and I feel like this is going to be one of those scenarios where if I don't go now, I am going to be screwed later. So let's just get this over with. Yank him out and stuff. Yeah. So went to the dentist. Dentist told me that, yo, your teeth, they're not great. I can, what I can do is, uh, clean them up and filling it for you. All right. Cool. Cool. So there were a bit of complications, nothing too serious and nothing to, nothing for me to get into, but went to the dentist, got filled and boy, no wonder people want dental in their plans when they work for a company because the bill I got hit with was about 300 ringgit. So, um, if you divided that by your American dollars, let's just say by four, uh, give me the second. That's seventy five bucks. Probably it's cheaper for you if you uh, if I if you think about it in terms of um, currency and whatnot. But yeah, um, three hundred bucks for me. I could have bought food, pay my um, stuff, or even get more magic cards. Magic cards are fun. But no. <laughs> oh, and on top of that, I I just went. I just sent my car for. Um, maintenance and whatnot, change the oils, and that took me about almost two, two hundred bucks, yeah, so, oof, oof, my wallet, ouch, so that's why Patreon's helping me somehow, but, uh, oh boys, <laughs> but yeah, um, that was my week, painful for my wallet, I, I hope I don't have to go through that again. So let's move on to, well, the thing I mentioned before. Yes, I've started a new podcast. Uh, it's nothing, whatchamacallit, it's nothing, uh, new, sorry, it's nothing pony related or anything like that. It's just, uh, it has something to do with Magic the Gathering. Yes, I enjoy Magic the Gathering a lot and I have friends who enjoy it too. And, one day we were talking and we got into this rhythm where we were doing a podcast or something like that. So we decided to, yo, um, why not we do a podcast? Well, mostly they say, I just say, I've done podcasts, so why not? And well, one thing led to another and we started the channel. And said channel is... The Gatewatch cast. So, um, the focus of the Gatewatch cast is, um, all about Magic the Gathering talk and specifically towards the Commander format. I, I only played that format and it's a lot of fun and there's a lot of things to talk and discuss and it's a lot of hard work and it's a lot of knowledge that needs to, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of knowledge that you need to have just to get into it. So I do, sorry, I really enjoy doing this podcast and whatnot. And we're just only on episode two and three would be coming out soon. And yeah, I, I do hope that if you guys at home who are listening to this, uh, if you do listen to, sorry, if you do like Magic the Gathering and if you do play the Commander format, uh, why don't you give us a subscribe? We're slowly getting up there. We're how about this? We're in terms of quality and our subscriber counts. Yay! So I, I do hope that you guys give us a shot and you know just um, support us if you do play the Magic Gathering. So anywho, let's move on to the end. If you guys. Have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show? You can contact us at dmbshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitch Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links are in the show notes. 
If you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, Tristan, and also Master of Light. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya! See ya!